Imagine what it would be like if one by one homes in your neighborhood were torn down all around you. And that's what's happening in some areas of Fairfield as the city tries to deal with flooding from the Pleasant Run Creek. Nine News reporter Lisa Smith live now on the Butler Warren Newsroom with a story you'll see only on Nine. Lisa. Well, Brendan, these homes are being torn down only if the homeowner agrees to it. In a lot of cases, they've dealt with a lot of flooded garages and basements, and they feel like they can't take it anymore. At the same time, their neighbors feel like they're being left out. Soon, certain Fairfield neighborhoods will have lots of parks like this, filled with trees, birds, bees, and the tranquil sound of a babbling creek. You can actually hear it in the background, you know, kind of going over that little ridge there. Um, it's just nice to be outside and hear until it starts storming, and then you get nervous every time it storms. That's because the Pleasant Run Creek in Fairfield has created flooding problems in several neighborhoods throughout the city. The neighborhoods are part of a designated floodplain, and some residents say they pay thousands of dollars to try to keep the creek water out. Portion of it, it picks up a wa the watershed from Hamilton County, so we can get a big rain in northern Hamilton County that will affect us up here. So the city of Fairfield has gotten over three million dollars in federal and state grants to tear down 17 homes with repeated flooding issues. Nine of them have already agreed that they would like to go ahead and do it. We've purchased uh, six of them, and four of them have been demolished already. After the demolition, the former home sites are turned into neighborhood parks, but some neighbors are concerned about their property values. It's been a very nice neighborhood to live in. You know, have some nice neighbors we've gotten to know really, really well. It just at this point in time, more starts to concern us um, just with, you know, who would want to live here, who would want to move in here. Yeah, we love Fairfield, so I guess, like I said, I deal with it as that time comes. Now, Fairfield is not the only city that's doing this. I'm told there are also a couple of cities in Hamilton County that are using this FEMA money the same way. Meanwhile, Fairfield does appraise the home before they make an offer. It's then up to the resident whether they'll take it or leave it. Lisa Smith, 9 News in the Butler Warren Newsroom. In the race for the White